you need to follow in his footsteps. Would you agree or disagree with that? If you're a Christian, you must follow in his footsteps. Right. So if Jesus told you that you must worship him, but you must worship the Father alone, and you turn and worship the Jesus instead, that means you have disbelieved. No, you, you have said. You said Hold on, no, no, I have to finish my, I have my point. That's the first point. The second point is that you said that Jesus received worship and he didn't object. Is that what you said earlier, no, no, no. right? Right. He received no. worship and he didn't object. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. but we listen to what Jesus in the Bible, no. there are other people in the in the in the God in the, in the Bible that received worship and didn't object. Would you call them God? In the Bible, there's people that are people that received that, worship. Yes. That didn't object. That didn't object. Yeah. Yeah. Go to Daniel chapter two, verse forty-six. No, no, no. It says Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face and worshipped so, Daniel. So, 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 so open a verse so, and, so and read. They worship and they, they did not accept. They did not accept. That's what you said. Well, Daniel, no, you they said. Did not you said. Hold right. on. Let me let me let me clarify. You said just now, right, that Jesus received worship and he did not object. He did not object. Right. But I can show you that Daniel received worship and he did not object. So now I'm asking you to go to Daniel chapter 2. No, the works, no, the works, no, 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 no. Go to the verse, go to the verse. You can't keep skipping around, you have to go to the verse. Your belief is based upon the Bible, yeah? So we got good, brilliant, brilliant. I'm glad we, we can agree on that. Let's find Daniel, how you've done it. Alright, yes, and? Numbers, you can run them. Who's Daniel? Right? Yes. Only. Why do you say God is God? Your English question. When it says and after things, there's a distinction. Daniel chapter Meaning, 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God has yeah. sent me. God sent us. Yeah. Yeah. God sent Jesus. Yeah. So, did Jesus, did Jesus send God? Can Jesus send God? No, but Jesus no. sent God. No, can Jesus, Jesus send God? Jesus sent Jesus sent God. Psalms no. no. Can Jesus send God? No, no. no. Can, 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 can you send God? Can you send God? Right. Can Jesus? So the question is. Hold on, again. I'm gonna find it. No problem. You take your time, my friend. You take your time. You find the verse and you take your time. Daniel, once again. Daniel chapter two, verse forty-six. Chapter two, verse forty-six. Okay. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and did what? And worshipped Daniel. Right. And permitted that they should offer an obedient and sweet order unto him. Right. Right. So now let me ask you this well, question. Let's, let's, let's now, see now, why. Hold on now. No, wait, no, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Right. Hold on. Good. Hold on. Good. So now Good. we need to have an understanding right. what worship is. Yes. Right? Because here, he didn't object. Did he say, excuse me? No. I'm no, not no, God. No, no. He didn't, he didn't did he object? Job. Yes he or no? He did not object. Why did he not object? He did not object. Does Daniel was doing the work of God? Listen, you know, you know, Daniel you know, was doing you know, the work of God. I'm not disputing that. Object. Did Jesus do the Did Jesus do no, the work Jesus, of God? Yes. Thank yes. you. So but, therefore, but 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 Jesus did not object. You know why he didn't object? object? Okay, why? Because. The works that Christ was doing, it is from God. And everyone can see that what Christ was doing, yeah. only God can do it. Right. So, so they why did Daniel? They bow down yeah. and they worship him. Right. And Jesus did stop. Fine. He didn't stop so him. now tell me, yeah. explain to me yeah. why Daniel also did not object. Let's read it in, 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 um, in context. Yeah. I, I, because okay, go on. you have come up on a scripture. Right. That never because right. Never no problem. We are, so, we are here to learn from each other. No, you know, I know. I'll give you that. So now, okay, let's see now why, you know. Let's see why the boredom and worship, right. worship Daniel. But can I just add one thing before you read? Can I add one thing before you read? Right? I find it very funny, right? That when it comes to. Sorry. sorry, I, sorry. Right. I find it very funny 
that when Jesus right, received worship, there's no context. But when Daniel received worship, now, nah, okay, now nah, we have to read the context now. We need to read the context. Oh, we should read from chapter one. Read from chapter one. Now, hold on one second, one second. Right? All of a sudden, when it's Daniel, there's, there's a context. When it's Jesus, because you believe he's God, we should accept it without question. Now, now, can I ask you this question? All right, you can take all your time and read the context. No, I'm not looking It will still reach the same conclusion no, that we are no, speaking see, about no, now. Do you, remember, yeah. do you remember the three brothers? Lee, Shak, Shek, and Atengi, Atengi, or the one when the king never recognized her, want them to bow down and worship the false god yeah. and they say that they're not going to why remember why because the false god he was going he was going against the i'm not disagreeing with you and they, i'm not disagreeing they with you they only worship so why did god right so why so, did why okay so, good so, i'm not disagreeing with you but right. what i'm saying to you why did daniel he, re, he accepted it right just like jesus accepted it and I don't know if he said accepted it Who? because I have to read it in the context. It just, it just, okay. Nebuchadnezzar, I, Nebuchadnezzar, did Daniel rebuke Marie? Did Daniel rebuke Marie? Read that, read that, read that. Hear me out, brother. Hear me out. Let me read it in context. No problem. Before, before. That's no problem. But in that verse, what right. we just read there, right? right? Did Nebuchadnezzar, yeah. did Daniel object to that worship? No, you don't understand. Did you object? It's Did you say, object. no, no, what are you doing? No, don't worship me. No, I didn't know because I don't read it in the context. All right. I don't, I don't have to read it. Why? My brother, this Did is why I was going to enlighten you on why something. Why the king never recognized her? Right. Bow down and worship right. Daniel. So let me, let me read it in context. Because Jesus didn't object when we bow down and worship so because we know he is God. Let me read that in context. <laughs> Let me read about that in context. Read in context. No, Let me read it in context. Can you understand? Let, Let me read it. The reason why we bow down, I'm going to go through this. So you understand? Because we know he's God in a man. That's why we call him man in there. God in a man. God is a spirit. God can be anywhere. In you and me. You believe that? No, I don't believe that. You don't believe that? So I believe what? You don't believe that God can be in you? Sorry, we're diverting. No, no, you don't no, believe no, that? No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm no, no, not diverting. I'm not diverting. You don't believe My that? Friend. If you don't believe that God can be in you, how, how can you believe that God was in the son of Mary. Listen, it's very easy. It's okay, very easy. How can you believe that? It's very simple. You can't believe that, Very simple. Let me Why just, not? okay. I want to go back to this and I'll touch upon that point in a second, right? Now, as we just both read, you said you if you want to take your time out, maybe when you go home later yeah, on tonight, yeah. then you should then you should read it in context. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So I, I grant you that. So let's move on. But, but, but what I'm saying to you, no, no, you can't grant me that. You can't grant me that. I'm gonna do that. You can't grant me that. No. Okay. Take my data. Okay. <laughs> Listen, it's a figure of speech, right? Don't don't get offended with my words. No, no, I'm right? not get offended. But don't right. you, you can't grant me. You can't no, when, grant when, me okay. No. When I say I grant you that, I mean yeah. when you go home tonight, yeah, yeah. you read Daniel chapter oh, two, and you take your time and read it, no man. That's it. Yeah. I don't mean anything by it. So now let me go back to what I was saying to you. Right. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is that is that Jesus was only sent to the Jewish people, right? right. And he came with a message from God, right? Let me give you the Quranic understanding, right? Allah says in the Quran, and we taught him the book. Allah taught him the book. Right? We taught him the book and we made him and we made him a messenger to the children of Israel. You know what? That complies with Matthew 15 verse 24. Jesus said, I was not sent except unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Does it say that? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Right. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 5, Jesus told his disciples, he said, do not go in unto the way of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Who are the Gentiles, my friend? Me. You. We are Goyim. Yeah? We are... My friend, I'm not a Gentile. You follow Jesus, don't I you? I am not, not a Gentile. So you, what are you? You are Gentile? My friend, I'm not... Are you a Gentile? I'm not a Jew. Yeah? I'm not a Jew. I'm not a Gentile. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm the original Jew. So, you so, believe that. Okay, so as a Hebrew Israelite. I'm the original Jew. Original. Okay. From the Evit time. So, so, no fear. So, you believe in Jesus as God, right? No fear. As a Hebrew Israelite. Yes. Right, okay. Yes. And this is why I keep God asking in a man. you. Right. And this God is why, in a man. This is why. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word is God. The word, the word take on flesh and dwell amongst us. That's why Christ called the word. Okay, my friend. Right. Listen, listen. So you're using John 1 1, right? As an evidence, right? 
my friend, John 1 1, right? Because so far, what I've gathered from you, from this conversation so far, is that you haven't provided any substantial evidence. Can, Hear me can, out, can I just make a point? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. You know when you mentioned in, in Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, yeah. I was not saying, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Notice Jesus did not say all Israelites, he said the lost sheep the lost of the house sheep. of Israel. I was the last sheep. Like, like you. Like me. Exactly. You believe Jesus is God. Yeah. Like me. Yeah. So, so basically, when me, when, when, when we preach the word of God. Yeah. And so you believe you're among the last sheep? Of course. We, 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 we were the last sheep. The so, one them who so was who slavery. Are the, so who the one them who the one them who were bought captive. So who are the, so the, so the guided yeah. ones from the Israelites? Who are them? Who are the guided ones? You are guided guiding ones. ones. Yeah. Guiding ones. Yeah, the guided ones. The chosen the ones. The chosen. Who, who are the chosen? What you say? What you say? What you say? The guiding ones. What you mean? Well, what I'm saying is, there's a lost sheep in the house of Israel, and there's one who's guided to the truth. Who are those oh, Israelites that's guiding the truth? The one that was guiding the truth, the same one that was the last Do they sheep. exist today? Same one then. No, do they same exist? One. No, do they exist today? You look at one right now. But you, you just say you're from the no, lost sheep? Look, yes, you look, yes, exactly. You look at Why is he right asking now. you a lost sheep? But look at right okay. now. Because we are the one that was brought into slavery. Brought and slave sheep. We are the one who was in, in, in Egypt 400 years. Yeah. In Egypt. We are the one who is captive. We are the one that the Bible talk about that our enemy shall put an iron of you around and with it. Is that our enemy fault? But he wasn't. Is that not our enemy fault? Is that our fault? Notice very carefully. Notice very carefully. Jesus did not say he was sent to all Israelites. Last sheep. Yes, I understand. The last sheep, which is us, the one them that was brought. Into um, why, the one that was why are you why, tribes? Right. One. So, so why yeah. why do you feel you're a lost sheep? Because no, I was yeah. brought. So Jesus saying the because, rock, so because, yeah. because we was yeah. brought into slavery. Who are the people them? Who are the original Hebrew Israelites? Okay. Tell me, let me ask you something. No, 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 Which no. Nation, no. Let's, let's stick to the point. Let's stick to the, the point. Bible. No, no. Who, who are the guided nation of the Israelites? What the, us. Because Jesus, did, Jesus was not wait, sent. Us. Wait, mm. Jesus did. Jesus mm. was not sent to those Israelites who mm. are following him. He was sent to the lost sheep. Lost sheep, the poor. Right. Who are the lost sheep? The, 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 the Pharisees. Yes, the Pharisees. The the You're not a Pharisee, Saudi. Are no, you? I'm not. I'm right. Not, I'm not. Right. I'm not. Good. Good. So my point is, he wasn't really sent to you then. He sent to all Israel. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. Do you get my point? I understand your point. Because look, all Israel. All right, so let me ask you this. So let me ask you this. So you believe that this book is a universal message. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, I believe it. Okay. Let's test the validity of that. Okay. So Jesus said, right? In fact, in Deuteronomy, I'm going to mention two points, right? One about marriage, and the other is about someone who turns away from their faith. Mm -hmm. Right, and let's see if you are able to execute this in real time. Right, right? so for example, in Deuteronomy chapter 18, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 13, yes, okay, cool. right? Oh, in fact, I want you to open up this verse and I want to ask you if you can execute this in real life, in real time, if you are a believer. Because if this is a universal book, then it should be, it should be accessed and it should also be practiced in real time, right? Uh, chapter 13, just go to chapter, Deuteronomy chapter 13 and we're going to see what is the punishment for someone who apostatizes in in the religion. Chapter right. 13. You got it up? One. Chapter 13, when? Let me read it. Right. Deuteronomy. Two, okay. Right. One. I want to ask you if you want. No, read, read, no, no, read, no, hold one. on, hear me out, hear me out. Yeah. I want to ask you because if you believe this is a universal message, right? This should be practiced in real time and it should be accessible in all places, right? So they're going to test this if. Because we are arguing that Jesus was only. The, the Torah and the, the, uh, the, 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 the Injil, which God has given to Jesus, was given to the children of Israel alone. So this is a, a message that's limited to a specific time and place, right? So now, we, if you're saying that this book is universal and that everybody should follow it, then it also should have guidance and rules that we should be able to apply in real time. Right, so with that said, I'm going to read the following. Right. If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son of thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, of thy friend, which is of thine own soul, 
enticed thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known. Mm -hmm. Thou art not thy fathers, namely the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall thine eye pity him, neither shall thy spare Sorry, spare neither shall thou conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him. That's it. Right? Mm -hmm. Thy hand shall be the first upon him to put him to death, right. and afterwards the hand of all thy people. And thou shalt stone him with stones, and that he shall die, because he hath sought to thrust thee away from the Lord thy God. Why you think? Right. Stop. So now I'm going to ask think, you a question. I'm asking you. Think, why you think? So one. So hold on, hear me out. I'm gonna, I'm, I, with this, I have a question for you one. because you believe this is a universal yeah, message, right? One. So, right. So, if your family member, your brother, mm -hmm. right, decides to turn away from, to another religion, mm -hmm. right, decides to worship another God besides mm -hmm. the God you worship, which is Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. Funny enough, right? but would you exercise this punishment against your own brother? Mm -hmm. would, can, can this be brought to a legal standard? Right, because remember, a book from God. No, watch no, 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 hold me out, hold me out. Because I have a question. A book from God, it has its own judiciary. This is like a judiciary in itself. No, watch I know. Right? Watch I know. This is a judiciary in itself. So what I'm saying. No, watch I know. Let me let me go on, go on, watch I know. Would you Those, what, let me watch I know. Those bro the days. No, no, no. I no, know no. you understand. Let me finish. Don't tell me no, no, no. Go on. I know you're gonna I say. I know you understand on. when Moses was sent and when Saul was sent to kill off this nation of people. You know why? Because they make Israel go and worship God. That was those years. Those days, even if, even if the transgress the Sabbath a death in those days, that is the reason why the Lamb come, the Lamb come, which is Christ. Yeah, with a new covenant. So the things them that we used to do back in the days, you're not answering my we don't need no more. You're not why? That's question. the reason why he came and died. So that was in those days, if a, if a nation or a man, yeah, make we practice and go against our one God, a dead friend. You're not answering my question. I'm asking so you. So what you read no, a I'm while ago is the truth. No, I'm not. Listen, listen, listen. This is the question I'm asking you. Right. Because you're not. If you're not understanding, I understand what you're saying. That was in those no, days. No, I'm asking. But in days, no, in these oh, days, let him speak, that we're living in, because of Christ, we don't do them things no more. You have to allow me Why to, we don't do them no more? Me, because me, He's the Lamb of to, the world, and He come and He died for our sin. But then, but then, in this time we are reading, but then, yeah, if any man make you go and sin against God, and go worship false God. I'm going to worship Baal. That's what happened to him. Okay. Even so, if a man, even transgressed. I heard Sabbath, your response. Even if a woman married to a man and she got sleep, with the next woman, you know them stone her to death. Right. Okay. That is the reason why right. Christ came. Can you let him right. speak? Let, let, no, let, no, don't tell me to make him speak because I make him speak for a very long time. And when he's speaking for a very long time, me never interrupt him. Yeah. So when I'm speaking to him, you don't tell me to let him speak. You understand me? I try to show you. So when me finish, then you speak. Now I'm book. trying to understand to you that Take was the old covenant. No Christ came with a new covenant now. With a new covenant. That is the reason why we don't do them things no more. Right. You understand? Right. I hear you. We don't do them I things hear your no response. More, no. Now let me respond ah, to you. One. Right? Now, I asked you a very specific question and you took the M25 <laughs> and you didn't come back to what I was asking you. <laughs> right? I asked you a very specific question. I heard you. Stop I, talking oh about the question. Let me finish. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Don't you dare, Mister? Don't you dare speak, like like speak to me like that? Let me finish. Because at the end of the day, when you were speaking to me, let me finish. You took it. 25 and 100 and it didn't sell it to you. Let so don't come to me uh, and me tell me that me tell it to 25. Let me finish. You ask me if you would have worshipped a God and follow uh, this book uh, and follow this book you know what, my friend? when God has said to you, go and kill those uh, people. I'm going to end the negative. conversation. Yeah. You know how I'm going to end this conversation. conversation? I'm saying to you that it was those days. I'm going to end the so conversation. So basically, you don't want to follow God of this book that will tell you, go and kill somebody because they make you worship, worship. 
a different God. You don't want to follow that group okay. like that. But I'm telling right. you, so now that let me, was let in me, those times. My friend, you let understand? me finish what I'm saying to you. Go on, finish. Yeah, relax. I am relaxed. No, you're not. I keep on telling you, you that you're I was not. speaking I wrote the word of God. Listen, I am I, passionate. I, I, I hear, I'm passionate. I hear you're passionate. That's I hear you're passionate, the reason why you don't understand. You have to, you have to let... That's why... Muslim, I'm feeling that's why when I'm speaking to a Muslim, Muslim I use the word to me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm being ignorant, I'm not calm. It's because I'm passionate of what I'm saying okay. spiritually. You know what, my friend? I'm a killer. I'm a passionate person yeah, myself. However, however, we have to have the same mutual respect that when, hear me out, hear me out. When I'm speaking, you have to let me finish. Yeah. When you're speaking, I will be silent. That's how it rules. That's how we're supposed to go. Yes. yes. Right? Good. Am, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you, right, is this. I asked you a very specific question. Yes. I said, are you able to apply that in real time? The answer is no. And what that demonstrates is that it's not a universal message. And let me explain to you why. Let me explain to you. Because you have to put your thinking cap on and understand what I'm trying to get, get up with you. Right? I'm saying to you is that would you kill your brother, right? Mm. If he decides to turn to another faith, because that, what that is, that is saying to you that you should kill your brother if he decides to go to another faith. Now your response to that, let is, me ask hear a me question. Out, let me ask hear a question. Me out, let me are finish. Are you talking about this time? I'm not finished. And are you talking about back then? I'm not finished. Let me finish and then come back. Right. Now I heard your response. You said that was back then. Right. 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 So how is it? It's not. It's not for current now. But, no. Right. But what you may miss out, my brother, right. is that Jesus said, Think not that I've come to destroy the law of the prophets. Right. I've not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill. Thank you, right? much. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, thank wait, you very much. Let, let, me, finish. let me finish. Let, actually, let me get out of the verse. Yeah, no, you don't have to check out the verse. No, let me get out of the verse. We know the verse. We know the verse. No, no, let me get out of the verse. Read it. Read it. Read it. Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. Read it. Yeah. Yeah. Read it. Let me read it. I'm glad you mentioned the fight anyway. Good. Yeah, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you mentioned the fight. I'm glad you did. Right, so let's get up Matthew's, was it? Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, you see? Hold on. I'm never reading now, we're reading now. Think that I am, think that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, let, let me continue. Right? For truly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not one iota nor a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Right. What do you understand by that? Until right. all is accomplished, meaning the right. laws, the legislations, right? Right. right? The judiciary, which right. is the verse that I was speaking about earlier. No. Right. Let me finish. Right. He said the laws. This is a law. When, right. when, when, when there is, a, this is. If you turn away from your faith, right, and you are punished by death, that's a law, that's a judiciary is, in itself. This is what you're not understanding. Now, hold on, let me this finish. This is what you're not Allow me to I finish. Go on, go on, let me go finish. Go on. Right. That is a judiciary, right? That's a law that has to be passed upon an apostate for those who turn away from their faith, right? So it says here, For truly I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass away, not one iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes one of the least of these commandments, which is what you are doing, you are relaxing the laws because you are saying, well, that's the past. We have a new, we have a new legislation. Jesus is saying, no. What Jesus is saying here, whoever then relaxes one of these least is the least of the kingdom of heaven, right? It says here, whoever then relaxes one of these least of these commandments and teaches men, so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So what you are teaching men around you is to relax the laws. Correct. Yeah, you are teaching men that they should not abide by those laws anymore. What you are teaching men is that they should what? Don't listen to what that says. We have a new legislation. Hold what on. Christ, Hear me out. One, one, Hear me out. Jesus, you're, you're Jesus. Wrong. Well, see, see? Well, let, let me finish. This is what, this is, this no, see, let, this let is what I say about, about, about Muslims. Let me finish. Muslims don't understand, oh, Muslim don't understand preaching, spiritual man. things. You're not listening, are you? Muslims don't understand spiritual Allow things. Allow me to finish. No, let me quote. Let me finish. Let me quote. I haven't finished what though. What Christ said. What he said. Let me finish. And one. Let me finish, man. Right, man. Let me finish. Right. Now, I'm going to repeat again, One. right? 
Now, Jesus is speaking to you as a Christian, right. for those people who tell other people to turn away from the message, which is what right. you are doing. And he addresses it in this verse. He says, whoever stands shall relax is one of the least of these commandments and teaches men shall, shall, shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called the great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the Pharisees, you will not, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. So what do we understand by that. this? Amen right, to amen that. To this. What you just read, no. what you just read a while ago, can I finish? It's two. But you don't understand it properly. Okay. So you want to finish? Okay, go on again. Right. So, right. So in the new, in the Old Testament, as well as the New Testament, they have certain legislations and they have certain laws. Like, for example, I pointed out into Deuteronomy chapter 13, right? For those who entice other people to worship other gods, the legislation is death, right? Mm -hmm. Just like when Jesus said in Matthew 5, I believe, right? He says, for those who are married, I think it's, it's the verse of marriage, right? Yeah, verse 28, I think. Verse 28, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever marries, right, a divorced woman is an adulterer. Yep. So in contextualizing the verse in Matthew, it says that if you marry a woman who's an adulteress, she cannot remarry anymore, right? This is the legislation. The woman who marries and divorces in Christianity, she cannot marry anymore. This is unjust. That's right. This is unfair. This is not, this is, that's what I'm saying. The Bible is not a the universal woman, the woman, message. Yes, the, the, the woman who married. Right. Can't marry no more. Yes, cannot marry no you more. You've got the scripture. You've got the scripture when they said the only you got the scripture when they said the only the only reason why she depart from her husband unless her husband died. If you get that scripture there. Okay, let's get if the get verse. Up. There. Let's get the verse. Up. Okay? Let's if get, get the verse. Up. Right. Now let me answer some of the questions that we okay, answered. Go ahead, go ahead. go ahead. I'll try to answer you very 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 short because you say a lot of things and I try to remember what you were saying. No, you're talking Fair about enough. keeping the law. No, you're saying Christ said. He didn't come to turn away the law or the prophets, too. He come to fulfill them. Meaning that how we used to do them back in the days is was a burden for us. But now it's not a burden for us. Still keep the laws, but do them in a different way. When you say that? No, Christians, no, no, Christians are Christianity. Yeah, teach not to keep the law, but we don't teach that. We say keep the law. Because we are under grace by Christ, mm -hmm. we keep the law same way, you understand, we do them a different way, because back then, if a man thieves something, yeah. they chop off a man. Right. If a lady commit adultery by sleeping with the next man, they stone her to death. Yeah. Now Christ came now, and he fulfilled the law, meaning that he, if, if a woman now do all these things, mm -hmm. we don't do that anymore. You know why? Because he came and he fulfilled the law. We don't do that anymore. No, he said we must love one another. That's why he quote and said, "Let when when he, when the lady sinned because she was sleep with a next man, and there was stoning her to death." He said, yeah. "Let any man that never sinned fling the first stone, and yeah. no man could not fling the fling the first stone." Mm -hmm. That is one of the reasons why he said he didn't come to take away wall. He come to fulfill them will fulfill the law. Yeah. So we must keep the laws and the commandments of God. Okay, let me respond to you, right? Yeah. Now, Jesus said, right, I think you're not, you're not being, I, I believe that you're not being compliant to the verse, right? You're not being compliant to the verse, right? You're saying that Jesus came and he wiped away and he came with a... No, he's, no, he said, he said that he didn't come to take away any water. You, you said that we, we, don't, we don't keep the law. I know, I know when you said that we don't keep the law. You said that, but then, you said that, but then, you said that, but then, if one of our sisters and one of our brothers go and worship different, different gods, we must kill her and we must stone her to death. Yes. That was then. Yeah. You understand? But Christ came, he didn't take away that law. He didn't take away that. He come to fulfill it. What? We love. We love one another. Okay. That simply means say, but then if your sister or your brother go and worship different God, see, from the God we worship, we should worship God of Israel, we love. Yeah, we love. Not to kill, we love. Okay. So he come to fulfill that law. 
You understand? Right. right. I, I hear your response. Right. Now my response is this, right? You are disobeying what Jesus is saying, right? Or can I, or and I, can, or can I'll we explain. Disobey? Well, I explain to you. Right. right. I'm going to I'm going to read back the verse to you. You think we're not the same? Well, you think we're not the same? This is what's right. It says here. Think not that I've come to abolish the law. Yes. Right. And the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not one iota. You might not believe it. You also have a reason. Not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes, right? Whoever relaxes one of these least of these commandments, right? Which what you are doing because the law itself says, right? That if anyone turns away from Hashem, as the Jews call it. You, and worship you, another god. The Hear me out. Worship so another god. Like, that person, what, 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 that, that person wala, shall wala, be put wala, to wala, death. Wala, 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 wala. I'm just saying, I don't worship God as I the most high. God of Israel. You worship Jesus, so you yeah, false worship. Always Christ. Always Christ. He's a, he's a I explain to you. I explain to you. All crises. I heard what you said. But, but you don't understand. I understood. It. No, you don't but understand. But you're not showing me no proof. No, I show you many proof. But I just proof that I show you. You will never understand it. Listen, listen. One buddy. evidence. Let me, One let me listen. Let, let, let me say something. God. I came. One evidence. Listen, listen. I can speak about this. Here's, Panta Papiers. We can do the same with thing. With Muslim. But they will never understand spiritual things. Because spiritual things, it come like foolish to you and to Islam. Why? Christ is God. You can never accept that. You will never see. Do you know why I don't accept it? You will it? never see. Do you want to know you why? Will I never see. Do you know why I don't accept so, it? Hear me out. Why? why I don't accept it? Why? Because up until now, right? And I asked your friend who yes. who walked away somewhere, right? Show me one evidence where Jesus says, "I am God, worship me." Just one evidence. You. Right. As well as your friend who, who walked off, couldn't provide anything. This is why I told you. I told you. What was it? I told you. He said. Maybe I misheard. What I told you, but you don't understand it. What was your answer? And I explained to you over and over. Again. And your answer is. And you know the Bible said, Apostle Paul says, spiritual things is coming like foolish to you. No, 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 no. And you want me to say it one more thing again? You want me to say and one more thing? Your answer is. Do you want me to say it again? I heard your he answer. Said, he said. You brought me to Peter a verse. Said, Peter said, "Oh, you say I am." Yes. Yeah. And he said, you're a son of the most high God. And Christ said to him, said, good Peter, because it's God revealed that to you. No, I understand and tell you, say, Christ is a spirit and God is a spirit. And God can be anywhere and everywhere because he's a spirit. You understand? So the spirit that was in the son of Mary, that was God. He said, when you see me, you see the father. And the Father abide in me, and I am in the Father. Okay. You understand? So anything that you do want to Christ, you do want to Father. If you love me, you love the Father. Right. You understand? So right. I said many, right. many times. So let's, let's you, discuss you, it. You let's, cannot let's understand that. It. So let's discuss we it. keep on going over and over and over again about okay. spiritual so let, things. So let me discuss it. Are we not going nowhere? My friend, you have to be just. You have to be fair. I am just. Right, good. So you said to me, right. because so far, as far as I see it, right, you need to understand from how, from how I see it, right? So far, you haven't provided no evidence. What you have provided, and that's the reason why I said to you, provide something which is clear cut. What you provided was something ambiguous, which is whoever has seen me, you said, hear me out. I heard, you I heard your answer. You said to me, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Right. Right. So let's discuss. You don't understand that. Friend, do you understand that? I understand I that. that. That's why I'm discussing it with you. Yeah, you, you, right. you don't understand it. Right. So I, because if you understand it, do you have a father. You are sure clear. Do you have a father. You are sure clear. Do you have a father? You know the reason I have a why father. Christ I have a father. is God. Yeah, Am I my father? Yeah. <laughs> Am I my father? Am I my father? No, you're not the father. But but, but Christ. Oh, hold on, one second. We're not, I'm not talking about. I don't, I'm not talking about me okay. and you. You just want to argue, innit? I'm not arguing with you. So let's discuss then. I'm Christ asking. and me and my father are one. Okay. Why are you not going to understand? Why are you keep on going over and my over? Friend, what's the Christ, 
What is the fear? Just don't fear. So why are you not allowing me to is, speak? The fear is, the fear is. I'm asking you a question. No, the fear why is, are you not allowing me to I answer? I am allowing you to speak, but we keep on going on. You know, well, no, okay. the thing is, we keep on going over and what over, is the fear? And over and what is, over. Because and you're not responding again. to my question. I am That's responding why. to you. Why? And what you're doing, you're why shouting. Jesus Christ. You're just the shouting. You're talking you're about shouting. You're just I am shouting. It's not passion no more, my friend. I am speaking loud. I am shouting. I am speaking loud. Allow me to respond. I am speaking loud. You're asking me so many questions. No, we get no, 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 no. This is how Christ will speak. Over and over again, Asking the topic, me. brother. Friend, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. It's best take care of yourself. Take care. I know. Guys, it's spiritual. Take care of yourself. And I'm telling you the reason why take care Christ is God. You can't understand it. Take care of yourself. You as well, brother. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Are you not the only one who's like this? Take care of yourself. Because all you do is just shout. I'm not shouting. Yeah, I'm speaking once in, I'm shouting. I'm pushing that. The Bible is the kryptonite, bro. The next verse gives the answer. But anyway, the Jamaican brother over there, Carl, embraced Islam. I don't know who he's talking about. I'm a Jamaican brother. I'm a Jamaican brother. I embrace Islam. Yes, Carl.